Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Um, it is Wednesday, March 16th as I'm recording this. I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> um, and I wanted to come on and talk a little bit about the energetics that are happening right now. So one of the themes that we have this month is releasing past disappointments. And I didn't feel it at the beginning of the month. And all of a sudden, on Monday, I felt, wow, okay, this theme is coming online. And it's really coming online in alignment with this full moon that we have coming up in a couple of days, this Virgo full moon. And if you are a Virgo or have a Virgo in your life, um, a lot of Virgo energy when it's in its lower expression is about control and needing to be right <laughs> and um, needing to create safety um, internally and externally through control. And so that's one of the energetic dynamics that you may be noticing coming up in yourself or in your relationships right now as we're approaching this Virgo full moon. But one of the bigger themes that I'm seeing us really work with right now is this need to release past disappointments. And um, this may um, come up in a lot of different ways for you. How I'm seeing it show up for most people is either um, areas where they've failed um, or um, had an experience or a potential of failure in business, in career, in putting themselves out there and being seen, or in relationship. And in both of these scenarios, we're being asked to really release any experiences that we've had in the past where it hasn't gone the way we expected, where we put a lot of energy in, where we put a lot of thought forward, where we had a lot of expectation and we had maybe even a naive belief that something was going to work out and it didn't. And, and we're being asked to release that right now, I think, because we're really being called to step into more of our, what I'm calling the master frequency, which is our ability to know at a deep uh, level that we are masters of our reality, that we are creating our reality, that we have the capability to change things in our reality, that we have much more control in, in that way than we think we do. And so it's kind of ironic that here we are needing to work with control energy and working on where we're holding on to too much control energy so that we can claim control in a higher form, right? Which makes complete sense with this Virgo full moon. And so you may be finding that there are some old tapes playing out in your life. Um, some things that have happened in the past that you are trying to project on to current situations. And in some cases, it may actually be a repeat. You may be repeating a similar or the same lesson that you've experienced in the past. And in other cases, it may be that you are just projecting those past disappointments onto this current situation. So this is one of those scenarios where it requires a lot of discernment for you to be able to tune into and know the difference. And I'll tell you, this is a little tricky. Um, I've been seeing this show up in my life. And, and, and for me personally, what's been happening is that wound, and I, I will say that this wound um, of disappointment is really raw for a lot of us, especially when it comes to relationship and putting ourselves out there in career and business and some of those areas. This wound is often so raw that when it's it's at the forefront like it is this month because we're working with so much emotional clearing. It really makes things very muddy, right? It's really easy to become enraged or to become depressed or to become overly emotional and drop back into that wound and then color all of our situations with that right now. And so it requires a lot of slowing down and a lot of going inward, um, journaling, um, having conversations with somebody that you really trust who's maybe more neutral, 
Um, for me, one of the ways I've been working with this energy is like taking the ability that I have to step out of my body and do some clearing on my body and run some clear energy through my body to, to release the trigger is one thing that's really been working for me. So those of you that are channelers or able to, to be in your astral space, stepping out of your body and letting your body just clear energy. Um, is a great way to work with this too, right? We've got a lot of Pisces, so it's easy to be out of body right now. So use that to your advantage. But don't go into a place of pure projection or pure escapism. We have to learn to walk the middle road of really seeing the external landscape, assessing what's happening around us, hearing what people are mirroring back to us, hearing their hurt, and then dissecting that and saying, okay, this is the piece that I know that I need to take responsibility for because this is my part in that relationship dynamic or that career situation, right, where I need to take responsibility. Getting really clear on the piece that we need to take responsibility for and letting the rest fall away, right? And and if you are still holding on to a lot of your past disappointments, then that clarity can be really hard to get to. And so I want you to think of it in this way. All of these times where you've put this effort in and this energy in and the person didn't show up or the thing didn't happen or it didn't manifest or it didn't quite come out the way that you expected, all of those things are in the past. If you keep creating from that past frequency, you will keep getting more of that. And so we have an immense opportunity right now to slam the door on those energies and kind of use a little bit of the frustration energy that you may be carrying that you have been reliving this dynamic over and over again. Use that fire, use that frustration to say, you know what, I am done with this dynamic. And, and I am, I'm tapping into that energy myself personally to clear out some pretty long-standing, 37 years worth of certain dynamics in relationship in my life. And, and it's that frustration energy brings in courage and it brings in strength if we can harness it correctly. And so if you can tap into that frustration of, gosh, I've lived this and lived this and lived this and lived this and I don't want to live it anymore, as a way to say, I release whatever truth, whatever frequency, whatever part of me is holding on to that wound. I just let that part go. And here's the interesting thing when I've been working with clients on this and saying, hey, this is the dynamic. You're back in it again. Are you happy about that? Do you want to be in it? Oftentimes I'm being met in session with a lot of resistance from my clients of like, yeah, I know I'm back in it, but I don't know how to get rid of it. And I don't really know if I want to get rid of it, right? And so there may be a part of you that is in resistance to letting go of these disappointments because you think that you're protecting yourself by holding on to all of these situations. But really what's happening when you're holding on to all of these situations and all of these dynamics where you have been disappointed and hurt and betrayed is that you're calling more of that into your life. So don't hold a grudge right now. This is not a time to be in a place of, I'm not letting go. This is protecting me. Because if you defiantly sit in rage in that way, then you're going to lock yourself into another cycle with this pattern and this dynamic. But if instead you use that frustration and you use that energy of, irritation of, gosh, why am I back here again, to really go inward and examine, why am I back here again? Use that fire to burn away all of the bullshit that you've been telling yourself and projecting onto other people and get real and take responsibility for what your part in whatever this dynamic is. And I know that that's a sticky place for some of us because when we, some of us take too much responsibility and we give everybody a free pass. And so everything that I'm saying has to be done in balance. This is going to require you all to pay really close attention to things right now. And, and you know, Virgo energy, the other part of it, I happen to be married to a Virgo, is that they can be very detail oriented in things that they care about. 
And when it comes to things that they don't care about, they may not be as detail oriented. It may not be a priority for them. And so it will be up to you to make this something that you care about. It's really easy to say, well, I'm back in this dynamic again. I guess I'll go through it one more time and, and maybe I'll not pay attention to it this time either. So you have to decide, you have to make a conscious decision right now that if this dynamic, this relationship dynamic, this abandonment pattern, this feeling of not being heard, this feeling of not being seen, this feeling of not being enough, however it's showing up for you, this feeling of needing to support everybody and never getting supported yourself, whatever that pattern is, you have to decide that you're going to actually take responsibility and say, I'm ready for this to clear. I'm ready for this chapter to close. I'm ready to look at this. I'm ready to get very in the weeds and in the details of the nit and gritty of how this is happening and why this is happening and why I've been taking or why I've not been able to take responsibility for this in the past. You have to choose that. You can easily choose something else, right? I'm not saying that that um, there's not another way. But you'll repeat the dynamic again and again and again until you make the empowered choice that you're going to look at what your responsibility is in this situation and only take responsibility for that. You cannot take responsibility for anybody else's pain or anybody else's projection. You can only clean up your house. And so, you know, the last piece of this Virgo energy is, you know, cleaning house. Right? That detail control piece can be used really well in its highest light to make some stuff shift, right? to create a shift, a monumental shift in your life. And so it's really important that you decide. This is not one of those full moons where you're just going to let whatever happens, happens. Okay, this is one of those full moons where you want to be a bit more conscious and you want to be a bit more aware of what's going on. And that's a little challenging because we have all this Pisces energy that wants us to escape and pretend like nothing's happening and pretend like we're fine and make it all nice and pretty. Okay, so this is going to require a little bit of attention. You might need to carve out a little time for this, but I promise you, if over the next couple of days or even into the weekend, if you don't have time during the week, you can carve out some time to really get real with the dynamic that is repeating itself in your life and making a decision to take responsibility that you're going to let that go, that you're going to choose something different. If you can get into that space in the next few days, this is a huge opening. Okay, we're at a turning point. It was very clear going into March that by the time we got to the end of this month, we would have the opportunity to be in a very, very different state of being and frequency. So it's up to you. What are you going to choose? It's all your choice. How much work do you want to do? How much do you want to dive in? How real do you want to get with yourself? And what do you want to happen? So that's my little talk for today. I hope it lands for you. I hope it makes sense. I hope it helps you make sense of these energies. We are really stepping into master frequency right now, right? How can we be masters in our own life? And in that vein, I have a workshop coming up, a three-night channeled intensive next week, next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, all about that. It's called Channeling the Ascended Masters. And yes, we will be working with Ascended Masters like Buddha and Jesus and Mother Mary and Mary Magdalene and Saint Germain, Master Hilarion, all these different beautiful Ascended Master energies. But we're going to be working with them with the understanding and the knowing that we are also that. And really what we're going to be focused on is activating this empowerment energy, this master frequency inside of ourselves so that we can be conscious creators walking through the world, creating the new earth as our individual selves so that we can then begin to connect with community in an expanded way. So that starts next um, next week on the 22nd. Um, I will put a link to that below this video. And if you're a monthly Healing Circle subscriber of mine, you get $30 off. So check your email for that. Um, and I hope to see some of you in that workshop. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week. And thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching this video on Facebook or YouTube. Thank you. Bye.